20 emerging leaders from across Australia gather at Melbourne University for a week-long residential intensive, all part of the unique Australian Mental Health Leaders Fellowship. We think it's unique because it brings together lots of components of leadership. Um, we have partnered with the University of Melbourne um, to provide the academic curriculum because we wanted this course to have some rigour. We've also um, added a, a component where they have a work task to do, so they're going to write a proposal to the Commission about something that might improve mental ill health in the future. Are the people participating in the fellowship from the traditional mental health areas or from a wider sector? We've gone from outside our traditional health sector. Uh, we've gone, we have first responders, we have police, we have defence, we have people from insurance. Uh, and we're hoping that as we gradually grow our leaders across Australia, we'll be able to have a big impact. The Fellowship Program Director, Dr Neil Fong, believes that bringing together leaders from a range of backgrounds will build greater empathy and skills in the wider community to deal with mental health issues. The idea is to bring them all together and develop leadership um, for them to then go back into their different uh, settings, whether that be in the community or families or in their workplaces. And over the coming years, as we had add more people to this network, we'll have this um, large group of people that have been skilled in advocating for better mental health outcomes for staff, for patients, for clients um, and for their organisations. Melbourne Uni not only providing the location for the fellowship intensives, but also senior lecturers to deliver academic content. So when you're trying to shape a program that's trying to give people the nuts and bolts around teamwork, leadership, organisational efficiency. So it's really about working with the diversity of the group and trying to create a program that's relevant uh, for all of them. I think we've managed to do that. The University committed to working with the Commission for the ongoing success of the Fellowship Program in the future. We're absolutely delighted. I mean, for us, it's in our custom education portfolio, we see this as, you know, really one of our key programs, uh, you know, one, sort of the jewel in the crown, I think, is, is one way of putting it. In addition to the Mental Health Leaders Fellowship Program, the National Mental Health Commission is also focusing on a critically important initiative they're calling Equally Well. It often comes as a shock to people outside our system that today, 2018, in Australia, someone with severe psychosocial illness has a life expectancy 25 years less than the rest of us. And for me, this is an unacceptable state of affairs. And so we have worked collaboratively with a number of the, the clinical health colleges, with the departments of health, with the NGO sector, to develop a strategy and a consensus framework to really address this fundamental denial of human rights and good care for people. We are making good progress, but it really takes that, that team approach to, to look after the whole person, the heart, the mind, the body. And what is the current strategic thinking at the Commission? Primarily, we are focused on developing a Vision 2030, a blueprint for mental health services going forward in this country, where states and Commonwealth all know their, their roles, understand their roles, and are building a system of strength together. And building that system of strength is exactly what the Leaders' Fellowship is aiming to achieve. We have to do that to be able to um, build up the fabric of the community so they can take leadership on this front rather than mental illness but the health of the nation. So I've been able to connect with people at the fellowship but also between the fellowship residentials in order to inform my work and, and make a broader view um, which is just so important in, the, in that policy type of work. Look if you're thinking of your, uh, applying for this fellowship I'd really recommend it. Um, like I said it's important that you develop your leadership skills and uh, this is a real opportunity to do that. But also, if you have any interest in the mental health field or you work in that area, that gives it that sort of unique twist. And like I said, you'll take out some really unique learnings. Part of this leadership program is all of us having the ability to go back to our respective workplaces, communities and organisations and have leaders talking about what it means for them and how we can best support our communities. Enjoying it? Loving it. <laughs>